Greetings, Phil here. Welcome to my new studio, or at least part of it. I'm getting it set up. Okay, here's the question. Do you think I can balance uh, this popsicle stick on my finger? Let's find out. No, hold on, let me try it one more time. One more time, here we go, ready? Pretty tough to do, but we can do it using the power of science. Come on. Whoa, sorry, you okay, you okay? Okay, you, tell you what, I'll go, you, you stay there. Okay, okay, so here is the science behind it. What we do is we have to balance something on anything else, our finger or wherever you want to balance it. But the center of mass or the center of gravity of something like this that would be long and tall when you're balancing it is going to be up here somewhere, right? Where all of the weight, we can say weight because we're on the earth right now, all of the weight is sort of, you know, kind of in the middle. What we want to do is we want to put the weight down right at the bottom so that it, it balances. If all the weight's down here, it makes it a lot easier to balance on something. So, this is how we do that. You take a popsicle stick, and then you can take a pipe cleaner. You could also use string. And what we're going to do is we're going to find right about the middle of the pipe cleaner. Right about there, that looks good. And then we're going to wrap it around like this and get it nice and tight so it doesn't slip off. And bring it around in front again and then maybe twist it really tightly to make sure that it's really on there. Of course, because if you're balancing something and then it just slips off, that's, that's not going to help you with the balancing. So now we've got two things hanging down, and what we want to do is put some weight on the bottom of these, so the weight's way down here will bring that center of gravity all the way down to maybe here, and below the thing you balance on makes it really easy to balance. So all you need to do for something heavy is put on these little binder clips that I like to use for just about everything, but you don't need binder clips. You can use clothes pins or you could use little balls of plasticine. It really doesn't matter what you use as long as you get some weight down there. And now that we've done that, let's see how it works. Whoa, oh, it's tilting. Look at that, it's tilting way forward. Okay, so let's see if we can fix that. Now we're gonna do some science. We're gonna go back and forth and see if we can change what we're seeing, what we're observing based on doing something a little different, and then we test again to see if it changes. Whoa! Well, that really changed it. All right, let's see if we can get this working right. Uh, okay, so it's tilting this way. So maybe we put it so the weights bend it backwards a little bit. Now it's tilting that way. Okay, so that really tends to work well. Okay, okay, I think I've got it. Oh yeah, look at that. Totally balancing on my finger. And then once you do that, you can make you can make a little stand for it or something. You can, if you have handy dandy holes in your shelves like I do, you can just use a, a chopstick or a long doweling or a shish kebab skewer. Oh, look at that. Can you see, can you see? Look at it balancing. Look at it balancing. It's so good. It's so amazing. Whoa, science. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's see if we can do it even bigger. You know, like kind of max it out. <laughs> yep, that's definitely heavy enough. Okay. Yeah, I can use that. Ah! No, not quite, not quite. While we wait, let me dedicate this video to all my Patreon members. Their support allowed me to find this awesome shooting space, which still needs work, but now gives me a year-round studio to do large-scale experiments. Patreon members also get birthday greetings, quizzes, and a direct line of communication to ask me questions and insight and feedback into how I'm evolving my channel. If you'd like to consider it, the link is below. And now, the moment we've been waiting for... <laughs> Check it out! 
I got the two plates on the end, and it totally balances the shovel on the pole. Huh? <laughs> Look at that. I'm pretty proud of that. The two weights there on the bottom, they're not attached. They're just sort of resting. Whoa. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't mess with them. I shouldn't mess with them when it's balanced like that. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. There you go. The center of gravity or center of mass experiment, large scale and small scale. Try it yourself and I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, whoa, careful, careful. <laughs> Stay curious.